Hi everyone, it's Amanda from wafflemakershub.com. Today we are going to be reviewing the Krups Belgian Waffle Maker with removable plates. This is a pretty big machine where the plates pop out. Um, it does make four waffles, so it's nice and big for a big family. You can make a lot of waffles at one time. We're going to take a look closer at the machine, see how it works, and see okay, if so it's working. So here is the Krups Belgian Waffle Maker. Before I plug it in, I just wanted to show you a few of the highlights of the machine. First, how the plates are removable. So this is the handle. It's a pretty big handle. It sticks out right there. You just squeeze the bottom with your thumb and it opens up. There's the big Belgian waffle plates. And there is a button right on the side over here. So if you push that button and pull the plates down, it easily comes right out. So you can stick these in the dishwasher for a nice, easy cleaning. The plates are supposed to be non-stick, but the instruction manual does recommend that you season the waffle iron plates. I'm just going to snap that right back into place. Another feature that I like is that it has an on light and a ready light. So you'll know when the waffle maker is on, when it's ready to pour batter in. And it also has this nice dial so you can change how dark or how light you would like your waffles. I'm just going to put it on three today so that it's nice and even. Um, hopefully it'll make perfectly golden brown waffles. Also on the other side of the waffle maker, I'd like to note that the cord um, has a nice place where you can wrap it up for easy storage so you don't have cords all over um, taking up space making your cabinets messy so you can when you're done um, cooking you can wrap that back up it does have a nice long cord in case your outlet is far away from where okay, you'll so be when the waffle maker was heated up the machine actually beeped five times to indicate that it was ready I actually thought it was our smoke alarm going off but it was just the waffle maker <laughs> saying that it's hot so I'm going to go ahead and use some of our amazing waffle batter, which the Pour recipe you can find online. a cup and a half of our amazing waffle batter and close the machine. So it says it takes about four to five minutes to cook. I'm just waiting now. Steam is coming out of the waffle maker, which means it's hot. So hopefully it'll make us some nice Belgian okay, waffles. So I opened the machine after about four minutes and the waffles still weren't quite done, so I closed it again. Now it looks like they're starting to be golden brown, and again, this is on setting number three. If you'd like them a little darker, I would turn up the um, heat, but these don't look like they're getting any darker right now, so I'm going to go ahead, take them out, and see if they come off the plates cleanly. They did come off the top plate nicely, so hopefully they don't stick at all. And we'll give them the crunch test, see how so crunchy the waffles they are. came out of the Krups Belgian Waffle Maker really easily, no batter stuck to the edge. Um, the waffle on the left here is um, upside down, so this part was on the bottom, and this was the top of the waffle. So the bottoms do look a lot nicer than the top um, for presentation. Maybe you'd flip the waffles over on the plate. Um, they do have a little bit of a crunch, not so crunchy. Maybe I would turn the heat up next time, since it does have that nice heat dial, so you can do different heat settings. Um, overall, it does have a lot of good features on this waffle maker. There's that beep. <laughs> That beef means the waffle maker is hot and so ready for batter. that's the Krups Belgian Waffle Maker. This is Amanda from wafflemakershub.com. If you want to check out our full review, you can go to our website. There's a bunch of recipes on there as well as reviews for other waffle makers. And you can read more about this Krups Belgian Waffle Maker.